You're right, guys, welcome to Hopeless Chatter. My name is Gary, aka Hopeless, and in this video, I'm going to show you how I painted this. This is the uh, Burrows and Badgers Cat Huntress. A um, lot of fun to paint, as you probably know by now, I do really enjoy painting these figures. Uh, as always, I start off with a standard Mechanicus Grey undercoat and a Wraith Bone overhead spray to help with the shading. And before we actually start, I would like to say that if you do enjoy this video, please do leave a like, leave a comment down below, and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this. So, let's continue. I kind of wanted this one to go for a more, sort of, upper class character. And to me, I've, I've only really seen, like, high society people with uh, nice little silver grey haired cat so I figured that was a nice nice idea so for this uh, the fur I went to Space Wolves Grey and then for the eyes I went for Flash Gits Yellow as a base which uh, I thought made them look quite nice and bright I am trying something new with these for this video um, completely in manual focus so it's uh, time for me to try and keep the model uh, <laughs> where the camera can see it. I think I did alright. Apart from this bit. Once the eyes were done I went moved on to the nose and uh, just did that in a nice simple Magos purple. A little bit of a progress shot there. Once the nose was done I went back to the eyes and went over that with a Yandin yellow the contrast paints just to try and I don't know, give the eyes a bit of depth. I, I, I really don't know what I was thinking at this point. And then I moved on to the muzzle, and I wanted to just add a little bit of detail into the uh, the face there, so I just used Apothecary White, uh, which I figured would do a good enough job. As I said before, I kind of saw this uh, Huntress as sort of an upper class character, and for some reason, for me, a nice deep red was uh, the, the perfect symbol of this upper classedness. I'm not quite sure why, I don't really know what goes on in my head half the time. Uh, so I used Flesh Terror Red for this, which I think comes out quite nicely, really nice and deep. Could have used Blood Angels, but uh, for some reason I just like this one more. Uh, I'm also trying to get my head around colour theory, so um, if I work this out correctly uh, the red dress and the green sort of corset tunicky thing I'm well smart I am <laughs> should come across quite nicely um, I chose warp lightning because out of the two brighter greens in the contrast range um, I think I think orc green looks too dark for what I wanted so this warped lightning was was quite nice warp lightning sorry not warped different thing uh, yeah. Anyway, onwards. After that I moved on to the hat and I did toy around with uh, using a different colour scheme. But I kind of figured she's a classy lady so uh, she'd want to try and match as much as possible. So uh, Flesh Terror's red for the hat again. Well not again. You know what I mean. And from there we start working on the metalwork. Uh, rather than going for my usual lead belcher, I wanted to try something a bit different and went for Grey Knight Steel, which is one of the newer uh, metallic bases from Citadel and Games Workshop. Released about the same time as uh, the contrast paints. So I basically just went over all the jewellery, necklace, brooch, gun barrel, sword, everything that could be metal with this. I also figured she's a classy lady. She's going to have the uh, the most up-to-date and best-looking weaponry possible. Quite like how this uh, hunting rifle... I'm not sure if it's a sniper rifle. I'm going to say it's a hunting rifle. Cover me, cover me back. I uh, quite like how this one's quite decorated little patterns on the side. Did my best to bring it all out, so uh, you'll see at the end. I also wanted to try something a little bit different, uh, so I took the Grey Knight Steel and I went along the trim to the tunic 
uh, around the bottom and on the arms. Because I figured she would have uh, some uh, some gold embroidery. Um, I'm also quite into mixing uh, contrast paints over metallics to see how they came out, and that was pretty much what I was thinking with this. And then I almost forgot the uh, brooch on the hat. So I uh, went over that as well. And the uh, sword, which I'm just going to speed up a bit here. And uh, that's what it all looks like. All the metal has been painted. Now I can move on. I decided to go over the leather straps uh, with, quite obviously, snake mite leather. Which I think is quite a nice brown for uh, all leather details. And that's not forgetting the straps holding the sword on. The little leather satchel on her side. I'm guessing that's where she keeps all of her trophies. And, of course, the gunpowder uh, pouch. Um, <laughs> I looked online for try and get ideas for these, but apparently all the pictures I could find were just black. So, uh, yeah, I went with leather. I think leather looks a lot better than... well. Brown leather looks better than black leather in my eyes. Quite happy with how it came out, to be fair. I think she's looking quite good at this point, so uh, it's probably a good idea to start working on the finer details. Moving on to the gun stock, it's, uh, it's Wildwood. Wildwood is a really good brown for, for well, wood, really, in very much the same way that uh, Snakebite Leather is a good paint for leather. I'm really pulling out the wisdom today for this. And apparently I can't remember to aim what I'm painting at at the camera either, so really good. It was also Wildwood for the sword scabbard behind her. I almost forgot to paint this one. I got very confused at one point, trying to work out what I hadn't done. I did plan on painting her collar and uh, sleeve ruffles uh, a different colour, so I went over those with Wraithbone White, um, but you know, generally thought it looked quite nice as it was, so uh, carried on with uh, this. I went for Nasdreg Yellow uh, to go over the metallics uh, on the trim, necklace, jewellery, and a couple of points on the rifle. Um, because I figured it was a slightly darker yellow, so the effect would come out more of a more of an older gold. If that makes sense. I think it's come out quite nicely. And uh, also across uh, little bits of the rifle, just to add a bit of flair to it. I think it looks quite nice. Maybe not this bit. And there she is again, getting there, slowly. And then I remembered I actually had to finish off the hat, so I got the warp lightning back out again, just to keep it in uh, the right sort of theme, and went across the hat band. Then I started thinking about the feathers in the plume of the hat, and I wanted them to be really bright, really vibrant colours, so I went for Talisar Blue to start with, which I do quite like. I just haven't quite worked out what else to put this on yet. And then I alternated with Yandan Yellow. Which sort of brings out a nice bright yellow, almost glowing effect in my eyes. And then I went over the jewels in the uh, necklace and the hat brooch uh, with Acalian Green to give it a sort of like 
precious stones, precious gems that are embedded in there. And then I added a dot of Leviathan blue for the uh, the rifle scope. Which you can't actually see too well on this, but it's there, trust me. While that was drying, I thought it was about time that I uh, started working on the base. So I grabbed my uh, trusty pot of Gore Grunter Brown and just went nuts over it. Uh, for the base, I used Milliput to fill in the gaps and then used some sculpting tools to add the texture of the mud. I quite like how the Gore Grunter comes across on this. And then while that was drying, I tackled the one thing I absolutely hate doing, and that's the uh, the pupils in the eyes. So uh, with my trusty Psycho brush, a lot of patience, and I do apologise for the camera not being able to pick this up, because I was trying to get this model as close to my face as possible. Uh, but yeah, it came out alright. I'm still ending up with slightly cross-eyed figures, but they're getting better. I mean, if you look at it from an angle, it does look like she's giving you the side eye. Straight on, looks a bit weird. I'll admit that. While that was drying, I broke out the PVA glue, started applying that to the base, because uh, I'm going to throw some static grass on this. This also gave me a chance to try out the new tray that I found in the local craft shop. It's got a little funnel on the end so I can tip uh, what I'm using for basing back into the pot without too much of a mess. And I'm using a 2mm Serious Place Summer Static Grass for this. I don't really have a refined technique. Slap the glue on, slap the grass on, done. Next couple of videos I will be taking more effort in the bases, but I set all this up quite a while ago. And there you go, nice, simple. Da -da 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 -da. Hardly any wasted, hardly any over my desk. Very happy. And there she is, the feline huntress. Ready to go stalking her prey wherever she may be needed. I'm going to say, I am genuinely really happy with how this came out. Um, with each model I do, I am noticing not vast improvements. There's there's subtle there's bits and pieces that I, I notice I'm doing much better now than I was when I first started doing these. And I'm quite happy with that. I'm really happy with how the progress is coming along. Uh, this does mean it's the last of the last load of miniatures I bought from Oath Swarm. Um, which does mean that I will need to make another order soon. So what to get? Now I do know that they have a Kickstarter coming up for uh, a set of models or set of miniatures they've been working on, so I will more than likely be backing that. But I'm sure I will be back with a couple more of these very soon. Um, as always, thank you so much for watching. If you got all the way to the end, please do leave a like, leave a comment down below and tell me what you think. So until the next time, this was Hopeless Chatter. I am Gary, aka Hopeless. Thank you so much for watching, and hopefully I'll see you again in the future. So until then, catch you later.